Okay, what's up, Jensen? Jetsen, it's Paul Sir. Today we'll be doing episode seven of High School Fleet. Um, they they managed to deal with the mines very safely. Wait, no, <laughs> no, not safely at all. Ugh. I mean, no one got hurt. <laughs> um, so what? And yeah, it was basically in episode seven or six. Uh, they they kind of like they cruised their way into the um into a minefield basically, right? And so they ended up sending out a smaller craft with a uh, Two other girls in it, not main characters, I don't think, and they just they just drove around like lunatics, and they crashed into a mine, and then they exploded, and then they had to go rescue them. <laughs> it, it was a pretty, uh, I think what it was was the fan service episode. I mean, look, look, I mean, look, 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 look right there, right? And so, I'm expecting we'll get back into plot and stuff in episode, with this episode, so, I don't know. Um, as per usual, right, this is a watch along, so feel free to, like, you know, match up with me. Uh, it's a playback timer over there on the bottom left. And as per usual, we'll just get into it, alright? So here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> alright, never mind. There's more fan service. I guess making a thumbnail is gonna be pretty easy. I mean, what happened? Oh, I gotta hide it. <laughs> you know, out of curiosity, how does the ship run out of water? Oh, never mind. I was gonna say, how does the ship run out of water? It's not really the water. It's this, the, the you can't use ocean water because it's impure, right? Well, not really. Is it impure the right word? It's salty, right? It has, it has stuff in it, right? And so you don't want to just like nuke your skin with it. That's why people take a shower after they go to the beach, right? I mean, yeah. <laughs> so, I wonder if this is going to be like a maintenance episode then. That they're going to be trying to figure out... I mean, I, I like how the show, the show has like a, usually a direct problem that they have to deal with. And this, I love it. I love it when they deal with like small problems, right? Like the toilet paper one and now this one's probably going to be about the water. <laughs> Dude, all the girls posing in, the, in this opening are so good. Okay, I feel bad. I don't remember anyone's names at all. German girl. Vice captain. Captain. <laughs> what? I think that's the problem with the show and there's like 30 characters that throws at you. Then I'm like, who's that? And I, I forget what the main girl is like. I think it's Misaki? Masaki? Something like that. Oh my god, I feel so bad. <laughs> it's just about not knowing their names anymore. Oh, let's do it though. Here we go. Oh, you're happy to the Musashi? Okay, I guess they're just they're chasing after it. So I guess... Wait, so they're the closest, right? Wait, what's that mean? I wonder where she stopped. I know, like, they've had some weird tendencies between each other, right? <laughs> I wonder if they're going to come out with, a, with their, their how they've been spending their water. <laughs> There's so many characters in this show. Oh! Is that true? Wait, can they switch the sewage to salt and clean water? Is that a thing?
<laughs> oh yeah, she was on the the early the beginning that they took a shower before right now, huh? It's pretty cool that they're talking about like what they have to use to uh like the changes they have to make. Damn. Thumbnail? Thumbnail? I wonder wait, so if, I wonder if you use a laundry machine, like in worst comes to worst, can you actually just use salt water for it? Oh, that would be so terrifying. Dude, boats are so, so cool. <laughs> oh, they got so lucky! I guess this is good for them, right? As Rainwater is probably better than salt. <laughs> Dude, what is the fan service in this show? I mean... God damn. I'm looking off into the distance right there. Are they going to eat it? Someone's going to eat it, right? No, they didn't. Okay. Dude, that's terrifying. Oh, I was thinking about this if they would ever do a stormy, like, a stormy weather. Because, like, when you're in a really bad storm, and, like, be on a ship, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> is, our, is our main character... Just afraid of lightning, huh? So I wonder about the girl that does like look out. Can she not just go up there like at all? I mean, that'd be safety first, right? Oh, wait, she is huge, or she is tiny. Oh. I don't know a single person that's afraid of lightning, by the way. <laughs> Damn, she's just peace out. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> I, I forgot. I like how they're just. Oh yeah, I forgot. No, the the German girl likes. That's her room now. Oh, she's she was, she's getting over it now, right? Because of the captain. Damn. It's pretty interesting when you think about how the show has to blend the casualness of high schooler plus being respectful of ranks, right? You think about it, right? So you think about it, they're going, they're at, they're in school. <laughs> I guess it's like military school, right? Navy school? I'm still fascinated that she carries a pocket watch. <laughs> I 
Oh. Wait, are those little hats of like preschoolers and shit? Uh, what? <laughs> oh, that's kind of messed up. Isn't this gonna be that traumatizes you from being on the water? A shopping mall? What? <laughs> Wait, that's pretty sick if there's like a mobile shopping mall, right? Uh, that is Misaki. I, I remembered. Okay. That would be terrifying. Oh man, can you imagine waiting for an hour? Like, you know, this is like hell worse than being like, you know, when you get like, get like a flat tire or something. Oh, man. I'm like, like, just trying to grasp this man. Wait, what? Dude, can you imagine? Like, how do you practice a, a, a rescue for this? You're just like, ah. We're just gonna go into a boat. Dude, she is over her, dude. Damn, she is so pissed. <laughs> Oh, that is a pretty hard decision, I guess, right? Technically, like... Like, when you have to make a decision between... Like, especially in this scenario, right? Like, what... I was about to say, that's like a horrible thing to say when you're on a rescue mission. When they're going into a scenario that looks completely bleak as F. Imagine these people are like 15. I think they're 15, right? Maybe 16? And you're just like, alright, go. <laughs> oh, man. I'm pretty down with this episode. <laughs> It started off pretty silly, but this is pretty sick. I don't know what that means.
I wonder if it was the same thing that's causing everything to get like all funky with the electronics. I wonder what, what it, like, caused her to be the one to do it. Like, to go? Like, don't, I mean, don't you have subordinates and stuff? It's like, she does the same thing that Misaki does. I'm not sure I should be mad. Uh... <laughs> oh, that's crazy. I'm just like... Like the things you I you have to do right to gather like danger from the situation like this is kind of crazy. You just have to peace out. Oh yeah, she doesn't like cats, huh? I would be so impressed if they killed off a character of character in this show. <laughs> this kind of gives me vibes of like when I used to not be particularly into dogs, and then all of a sudden I had to like babysit or house sit for my sister, and she has a bunch of dogs, and then you just kind of grow like you know what I mean. Like they're just really good at keeping you company. I've never had a cat. I wonder what that's like. What is life? Yeah, this is kind of crazy. Like when all you can like, there's literally nothing they can do. They just don't wait. Oh, that's pretty cool. Wait, where are these characters, though? <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, was she wearing her swimsuit the whole time? That's cool. I really- I dig this. Oh... Maybe she's gonna get rescued, but... I wonder how long it would take for the boat to just start sinking. Because it, it said it got split in half, right? Like... Oh, this, dude. Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> what the hell are those? 
because it, it's like weird because like the world's like like made up right sort of so to what degree is real and not real i don't know I mean, those look like pressure washers, so I was just thinking they're cleaning the deck. Oh. Wait, is the guy gonna stay? What? <laughs> <laughs> This is kind of her character though, right? She just cares too much. <laughs> Why is she so angry She's over there? I don't even know who she is. Oh, so she ended up living with them, huh? Is that what happened? That like her friend took her in? Her friend's family? So, like, they're basically, like, sisters, right? Huh. Is it the Musashi? <laughs> huh. <laughs> I didn't think about how much I would enjoy watching them try to rescue someone from the ship perspective, you know? Because, like, I, I take it for, like, granted, like, how, how, you know what I mean? Like, when you pull over to the side of the road, it's, like, it's pretty simple, right, to go help someone out. But when you're doing it, like, someone's on a sinking ship, like, everything about it is, like, on a fundamentally just different, right? And so I got, like, I go, I don't know, man. It's, it brought me into a world I didn't even think about, like, how... Like, what's the logistics of it? Like, what do you do, right? And watching them, like, with the hammers and stuff, trying to find out, like, where... What's her name? Munitani is and stuff was pretty neat. I don't know, man. Something about having that, sh that episode taking me to, like, a different place or whatnot was really... Really special, in my honest opinion. Like, that's, I don't know. I thought that was really cool. I think the part where I'm having a hard time with though with the show is that like it's hard for me to completely grasp how much of it's like truly reality and then not reality because I'm pretty sure the flying blimp thingy that came in to rescue the dolphin people is not something that we have. So it's like oh, and I think that's where I get like a little bit like because like, it, it hangs on me just a little bit. You know what I mean? Because then I'm like, because then it skews my opinion. Because like, is that like the power washers? Like, is that how? I don't know what those were. <laughs> I'm guessing they're just like, what's it called, right? Like, um, they're 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 to cut the steel, right? Damn, that's wild. 
I mean, it's kind of fun, though, because I think this is one of the first episodes that kind of really got me, like, going, huh, huh, in the core, where it's not really necessarily about, like, them using their guns or anything. I thought this was, like, just super fascinating, though. To see them just try to, like, like, the measures they needed to do to, like, rescue some, like, to rescue another ship was so cool to watch, dude. And then I think the part that's even more impressive is that they're, they're just young. They're, like, little youngsters that are also doing it, too. And it's just, like, you gotta get up to, You know what I mean? It's, like, when, when you're called when you're called to uh, called to arms, you gotta just bear it and go, right? And I thought that was really, really sick. But all right, guys. That was episode seven. Um, it was definitely one that... It definitely... I think... I didn't do as much justice as I was at the end of it, but it was probably one of... I really liked that episode a lot. It was just really, really charming to see. Oh, I guess Munitani getting to approve herself, too, was really nice as well, right? That maybe she's got over a fear of cats, and then maybe that she's just a baby... Like, when you think about it, her frustration was what rescued her and whatnot, too. And so I'm kind of curious how she'll react towards the rest of the people, because she, even she was brazen and... Brazen, and acts like Misaki too, right? So I think maybe she she'll become more of a more well rounded character now. You know what I mean? Like she knows she's she's a bookie, right? So it was pretty cool watching her just like go ham and then basically at the end there. Uh, unfortunately, she things didn't go so well for her, but you know that's how it be. All right, guys, um, that's that's gonna be episode seven of High School Fleet. I will catch you guys all next time. Peace.